bringing it back to the short term, one of the big focal points for investors in the aerospace uh, sector has been the Boeing 737 MAX. And earlier this week, Boeing reaffirmed ex its expectation that U.S. deliveries of the planes would resume before year end, but at deeply reduced production rates. Can you comment on the 737 MAX situation? But, uh, as you just said, you know, we just uh, listened to, to our customers who said that uh, the, inter the return to service of this plane will be done before your end. And uh, just to give you an example, American Airlines has put some tickets for sale for a flight on the 29th of December before between Miami and New York with, with a MAX. So I believe that the end customers, the airlines, know what's going on. And uh, yes, we believe that the plane will be back in the air before, before your end. Uh, in terms of production, the production ramp up will be quite slow because do not forget that Boeing has today about 450 airplanes sitting on the ground to be delivered. So Boeing has to get rid of this backlog before uh, uh, going into a big ramp up of production. Boeing said that by the beginning of 2022, they assume that they will have a production rate of about 31 airplanes a month. Philippe, um, lastly, before I let you go, looking beyond this year, beyond 2021 to the future, this pandemic has highlighted uh, the environmental issues in the world and certainly raised the profile of uh, flying and, and has raised the question of whether people will return to the skies in the same way they were pre-pandemic. It sounds to me, listening to you, that you don't share those concerns, that you think the aerospace and airline industry does have a bright future ahead. When do you see the global aerospace industry recovering and even growing? Well, to, to, just to, to, to look at short term, just to recover to the level we enjoyed in 2019, uh, we believe that 2024 is a good, is a good place to recover. Uh, if you're optimistic, you can even think that 2023 is going to, to, to be the year of the recovery. If you are more conservative, 2025. But on the long term, Boeing has, has issued a, a marketing study last week saying that uh, when you talk about 20 years, uh, the, 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 the business is still a very, very nice business. They, 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 they forecast that uh, in the next 20 years, the growth, the annual average growth, is going to be 4% a year, even with a crisis. Uh, before the crisis, they were issuing, they issued a, a, a study saying it could be 4.6%. All in all, with the crisis, if we look at the next 20 years, there's only a reduction of 2%. So uh, we are going to continue to grow. We are going to double uh, the quantity of airplanes, large commercial airplanes flying in the world in the next 20 years.